we're going to look at the free body diagram questions from your quiz. First thing I want you to make sure you've noticed is that on this quiz, we have put some helpful reminders for you at the top. It's important that when a teacher includes those things that you make sure you check them over before submitting a test or a quiz. The first question says, Michael is pulling a rope to the left with a force of 50 newtons. Jacob is pulling the rope to the right with a force of 25 newtons. Draw the free body diagram. Remember, whenever drawing a free body diagram, you begin by drawing a square, and then you go through the problem to include all of the different information. The first thing says that Michael's pulling it to the right, I'm sorry, to the left with a force of 50 newtons. So we're going to draw a vector. We're going to label it with how many newtons, which was 50. And remember, a push or a pull, in this case it's a pull, is applied force. So we're going to label that FAPP. Next it says Jacob is pulling the rope to the right with a force of 25 newtons. We're going to draw a smaller vector to the right, 25 newtons, and this is also a pull, so this is also going to be applied force. That's all the information that the problem gave us, so now we need to calculate the net force. Remember when arrows are working, remember when arrows are working in opposite directions as they are in this case, we subtract. You have 50 newtons going to the left, 25 newtons going to the right, so you subtract the two. So you would do 50 minus 25. In this case, the net force is going to be 25 newtons. And then finally, remember, you need to include which direction is this object going to be going. Since 50 newtons is larger than 25 newtons, it means that 50 newtons is going to win. And 50 newtons is moving to the left. So for our net force, we're going to include an arrow to the left. And that is our total net force. Next, it says where the force is balanced or unbalanced. Remember, balanced means that there's no motion. Think of if you're balanced on a seesaw, you're not moving. Unbalanced means there is movement. Since we have a number that's greater than zero, this object is moving. It's moving 25 newtons to the left. So in this case, this example is unbalanced. The next problem says, Jared is rolling his chair down the hallway. He is moving to the left with a force of 100 newtons. Friction is working against him to the right with a force of 50 newtons. Normal force is 10 newtons and gravity force is 10 newtons. Draw the free body diagram. So we're going to begin with our square and then we're going to go through each step of the problem. It says he is moving to the force or he is moving to the left with a force of 100 newtons. So we're going to draw our vector to the left. We're going to label it 100 newtons. And again, this is our applied force. It's the motion that's happening. Next, it says friction is working against him to the right with a force of 50 newtons. So we're going to draw an arrow to the right, 50 newtons, and we're labeling this with friction. Then it says normal force is 10 and gravity is 10. Remember, vectors have to come out of the box. They should not be pointed towards the box. So first I'm going to look at gravity, and gravity always pulls us down. And that was 10 newtons. Normal force always works opposite of gravity, and it's always pushing up. That was also 10 newtons. So now it's time to calculate the net force. Whenever calculating the net force, we're only going to look at arrows or vectors that are opposite of each other. So we'll first look at the ones in red. Both of these are going opposite of each other and you have 10 newtons. When they're going opposites, you subtract. So 10 minus 10 is zero. What that simply means is Jared rolling on the chair, he's not going up in the sky or down into the ground. He's at zero, so he's not going up or down. Now we look at these sets. We have 100 to the left and 50 to the right. When they're going in opposite directions, we subtract. When we subtract, we get 50 newtons. And just as we said earlier, since 100 is larger than 50, it means the object's going to be going this way. So on our net force, we're going to include to the left and circle that. 
And since this object is in motion, it means that it is unbalanced.